Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Bye. Welcome back to the channel. We got a new bucket and our, my new white horsey and we got a new white um bucket. Put it in put in this bucket. So good. And the flower too. And everybody wants to call it. Whatever you want to call it, I guess, yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of requests on how we store sugar long term as you know being a prepping family. Uh, we try to stockpile as much as we can here and there as we can afford it and we like to store sugar because sugar is going to be something that's going to be very beneficial you know in your pantry or whatever but uh, anyway we thought we'd share with everyone how we store it because like i said we've had several requests on it so i'm going to show you guys how we do it what we do is we don't use the five gallon buckets to put sugar in we use two gallon buckets simply because uh, i don't want to store large quantities of like sugar or anything that you have to get into quite frequently you know like say like in a five gallon bucket i want like smaller amounts and two gallons about the right size i take the bucket and we get we get the food grade buckets of course all right then i take the mylar bag these are actually five gallon bags you stand it up this way but i cut it in half and made two back made two bags out of it what i did is i cut this thing in half this was for the five gallon buckets right here's five gallon mylar bag but i cut it in half long ways and what i'm going to do is i'll show you is we basically make our own bags out of these to fit we make one bag into two bags to fit the two gallon buckets cut it in half and then take the her hair straightener and we seal up the sides on where, where it's open and then cut these hair straighteners work excellent for this the only reason we don't use our uh, V-bore on this right here is because the bags are way too big for that V-bore. And that, and you're also sealing them inside a bucket too. Okay, there's one side. Now we do the other side. Okay, let me set this over out of the way. All right, what we have now is basically a bag that's sealed all the way around. It's, sort, it's sealed all the way around. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take our scissors. I'm, just, I'm gonna, it was long ways this way. Now it's long ways this way, if you see what I'm saying. So basically all I'm going to do is cut the top off of it, right past that seam where it's sealed from the factory there, as high as I can get it without cutting anything. And now, what we have is basically a two and a half gallon bag. You just fit the bag in the bucket as normal. Just kind of pack it in there and fit the bag into the bucket best you can it ain't got to be perfect because you'll, you'll pack it in there okay just kind of kind of fold it around inside the bucket there the best you can all right then like I said, we buy we buy our bag 25 pound bags of sugar that's how we buy our sugar and then we you know we put it up so I've already done one I'm just gonna show you how how we do it so I went ahead and cut the corner off of it pour it in here Basically, one 25 pound bag of sugar will do two of these buckets, two two gallon buckets. And it fills it, you know, basically up to right here, basically toward the top. Gives you a little room. Okay. And there's that. It's put it in, nothing fancy about that, but here's a trick to storing sugar. Right here, these things are called uh, silica gel desiccant packets. Okay, so like if you buy something, some type of electronic or something like that, and they ship it to you, you always got these little gel packs in it. And those gel packs keep moisture out of like electronics, keep, just pulls moisture out of anything. It, but these are food grade, right here. And these come from a company called Discount Mylar Bags. And uh, we've done a video on their products, you know, a couple months ago, but I'll leave a link to his stuff again, because we really like using his products, especially these right here, these discount packs. One of them would be enough for this bucket right here. One of them would. But I'm gonna throw, cause I have a whole big bag full of them. I'm gonna throw probably three or four of them in here, just, why not? 
and I still got plenty, you know. You seal that back. You want to keep these sealed up and out of the, you know, out of the oxygen and stuff like that, because it pulls oxygen out. And these things right here will get hard as rock too, but you don't have to throw them away. You can reuse these things. You could take these things and put them in a the microwave for a little while and uh, dry them out, or oven. You put them in the oven, just dry them out. All you got to do, you can use them again. So just food for thought. But anyway, I got those in here. Okay, here's what we got. Sugar up to the top. I throw them in there, I just lay them right on top right there. That's all I'm done. Right on top of the bucket right there, just like that. Okay. After I throw those in there, basically just fold the top of it out just like that. I got her hair straightener over here and plugged up and heating up. Just gonna seal the top of it. We uh, normally seal our stuff in our V-board over here, the V-board vacuum chamber over here, but these bags are way too big to go into that. Do not put an oxygen absorber in these things because if you put an oxygen absorber in here, it'll be hard as this table right here if you ain't careful. So that way across it, just leave a little bit right there. And that's just so you can mash the air out of it. Just like that. Just mash it down the best you can. You fold this one side in, it's ready to go. Just like that. Okay. And keep that side out. Mash the air out of it. Then right there and then just seal that little piece. That's sealed. All right, that's perfectly sealed right there. These things won't pull the oxygen out of there, but it also, but it will keep the moisture out. If there's any moisture in a you know in the air that's trapped inside there, it'll pull it out and it'll store it in those little packs. It won't it won't cause your sugar to pre you know harden or you know basically be a brick in there. Uh, we have some of these in the pantry that we've had for. I think five to eight years and they're still you can open them up and they're still perfectly fine sugar there's no they're not clumped up they're not anything all right guys bucket number one here you go that's what it looks like it's all sealed up what you do just fold it over like bubba's doing fold it over good bubba there you go you ready to put a lid on it yeah we got just a regular lid we'll put it right on here I, when I put my lid on there, I like to set it on there like that and then mash the center. That gets all the air out of it that you can. And you just kind of go around it like that or with the rubber mallet. But this way works best for me. <clears throat> right, that's it. It's snapped all the way around. Then what I'll do is I'll take a permanent marker, a Sharpie, and I'll write on top of it. I'll write sugar on it. And then I'm going to write the date in which to, with today on here. Right, that's all I do right there that's all I do and that's roughly I'm gonna say probably 12 12 13 12 and a half pounds of sugar right there in this bucket that'll be good for years and years on the shelf just like it is right there if, if you ever have to get into it you know just, just use it up and uh, like I said these things right here the discant packs these silica gel packs right here these things are the trick to storing Say like sugar, salt, anything like that. They, you want to use these things, and if you do, it'll be good for years down the road. As long as you got a good seal on your bag, a good seal on your bucket, that's all that matters. It, it's, it's going to be good. This right here is going to be good. If I don't ever use it, it'll be good for the rest of my life, pretty much. And this one 25-pound bag of sugar, we have two two-gallon buckets completely full. All right, and kind of summarize, summarize it back up a little bit. I took a five-gallon bag that you put in five gallon buckets and i cut it in half long ways if you hold it long ways i cut it in half and just sealed the edges back and cut the short sides off which made me a tall two gallon bucket that's how i do these we have we have a lot of the five gallon bags i mean you can buy them for these buckets but we have a lot of the five gallon buckets and it's the exact same thing if you cut it in half so that's what we're doing and it works really good for this but like i said we have a lot of them you know stored back we got a bunch more five gallon buckets we're going to do with other stuff too which we'll probably throw a video out on some of that stuff too but as of right now we're just doing sugar today and that's how we do it and uh, hopefully this helps somebody out uh shoot down the comments down below you know if you've done it this way you don't want to do it this way or you tried it this way it didn't work because it works very well for us very well i mean we have some put up in there like i said five eight years ago so anyway guys if you ain't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one.